welcome, welcome, welcome. It's your girl Eve Elements. Welcome one and all. If you're new to the channel, welcome. If you're returning back, welcome back to all my gardeners. Hope all is well. We're just going to be checking in on some collective energies. Let's get into this prayer. Most High, one true living God, I ask that you protect me and the collective of your workers who are under you trying to help uplift humanity here. Keep us protected from the enemies who are known or unknown to us. Knock down every and any negative energy that is sent towards your helpers from the enemy that's trying to stop, lock, hinder, and delay us from the deliverance of the collective, from all this evil that is surrounding the world. I'm here to grasp on these messages and to help out the collective. So I ask for your guidance, your assistance, and your help in the matter to keep the energy pathway clear of negative energy, evil eye, envy, greed, and jealousy. And I ask that you block out. Hear no evil, see no evil, speak no evil. Blind every eye, twist every tongue. Amen. What's going on in the collective? What's the main energy? What's going on? What do they need to know? Be made aware of here. Let go. Make room for the new beginning on its way to you now. Y'all are being asked to let go of any and all attachments. Spiritual attachments. Financial attachments. Physical attachments. Mental, emotional attachments. Sexual attachments. Some of y'all need to do a cord cutting Okay, get people out your energy. Some of you have already done this, and you got people that are trying to reattach themselves to you. Okay, keep your energy clear at all times. Mentally, you need to be focused on what you need to be focusing on right now. And I feel like you need to get rid of all those mental attachments because as you clear out your energy and you clear all spiritual cord attachments, you need to be clearing out mental attachments as well. Because as you clear out that energy off of your spirit and you're clearing out your energetic space, okay, you still may be thinking or have having uh, lingering thoughts of past people, places, and things. And by you clearing out your aura, but you're not clearing out your mental, you're going to be thinking of past people and... Again, you're going to reattach, and then you're going to be pulling on that energy, which makes them come towards you. You don't want that, okay? What else? Holy Spirit, Archangel Spirit, guys. Bring truth and clarity and peace of mind to the collective here. Date night. Woo-wee. Some of you are being asked to let go and let God let loose, okay? Get ready to be... Wine and dine. You have an energy coming in that's very much interested in you that wants to take you out. You have a newer energy here. Now, it doesn't say soulmate or twin flame, but you do have someone that is interested in you that is looking to wine and dine you. Someone's very much interested in taking you out here. They want to get to know you. Give me a second. Holy Spirit, Kings of the Spirit, guys. Some of you are needing to get out. You have an earth sign coming towards you, or you're the earth sign here. We have a sun in Taurus, a sun in Virgo, a sun in Capricorn. It's date night. Get ready to be winding down by an earth sign. For earth sign, this is you, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You're either needing to get ready to be winding down or collective. You have a Taurus, a Virgo, or a Capricorn, newer energy coming towards you that wants to date you. And you're being asked by your spirit team to let go of the past. Let go of that X. Clear your mind space. Clear your mind. Clear your energy. Clear your energetic space. There's an earth sign coming in. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, ready to wine and dine. You hold your back in spirit guides for the collective. What do we see here? This person is very persistent, but they're also patient. They're waiting. Okay? This is someone you don't know. 
They're persistent, they're patient, and they're waiting. Just a few more months, good things come to those who wait. In a couple of months, a few more months, you have an earth sign coming in that wants to date you. And, you. and this person just broke up with someone or they just divorced somebody here. Make room for the new beginning on its way to you now. Your new beginning is this earth sign for some of y'all out there whom it may resonate with. Others of you, if you are the earth sign, you have a new beginning that's starting, and I feel like you may have your eyes on somebody here that you're very much interested in. You're looking forward to going out with this individual here. I'm looking forward to getting to know them, wanting to date them. You know you need to date them. You want to be in this person's life. You want them in your life here. And you're being very patient but persistent at it at the same time because you're just releasing yourself from a uh, negative Nancy that was in your life holding you back. Whether y'all got kids or not, this earth sign has pets. They have a dog. Those look like dog paws. Getting a new pet, giving a current pet more love. This person loves their animals here. Yeah, I feel like um, this person, this earth sign, or if you're the earth sign, whoever's coming towards you, they're closing out a cycle. You're closing out a cycle with someone. That cycle's closing out now, whether they are getting a divorce or whether this is just a breakup. They're getting away from someone, getting out of a cycle with someone. Holy Spirit, Archangel Spirit, God, show me what I need to see. Show me truth and clarity. Holy Spirit, Archangel Spirit, guys, show me the truth for the collective to see, to know. Mm. This came out reversed. So someone here, so, okay. I feel like if this is an earth sign that's headed toward you, they're leaving a connection that they were in with someone who is still trying to figure out their sexuality. Someone could have been a pansexual Someone could have been bisexual. It is a low vibrational Gemini moon. Gem, uh, moon in Gemini, moon in Libra, moon in Aquarius. Low vibrational energy here. That's a moon sign. Okay. Someone very is low vibrational here. Someone's someone is very low vibrational. Very low vibrational. I feel like this earth sign, this sun in Taurus, um, sun in Virgo, sun in Capricorn was being very patient with whoever they were dealing with here that was quite bisexual here. They took a risk, but this person brought nothing but problems to them. And so they're getting rid of this energy. Okay. Problems with addictions or gambling, bad finances. This person was using them for their money. Mm -hmm. We also have, we have, ooh. We have moon in Cancer, moon in Scorpio, moon in Pisces. Water energy here. Someone's moon is in water, the air is in water. Two different energies here, definitely. But we have Sun and Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn energy here. At the bottom of the deck, Mercury retrograde again. Someone is spying. Someone's got their eyes on you. You are doing your research here. Someone's looking you up, researching you here. But we also got Mercury retrograde, which is actually at the bottom of the deck here. Electronic issues, communication issues, review everything. Someone's looking over a lot of things here. Someone's watching you on their electronics It's whoever this person is that's pregnant. Do you have somebody that's pregnant spying on you, looking through the electronics? If your electronics been acting up, this pregnant person has been hacking you. This person could be pregnant with twins, doesn't have to be here. Intimacy reverse. This person is not touching this pregnant person. 
okay? So there could be an earth sign masculine that is leaving a pregnant female here who has water. Can Scorpio Pisces moon sign or they could be a Gemini Libra Aquarius moon sign here. Take officially the rest here. This person is definitely spying. I feel like if it's not you they're spying on, they're spying on this earth sign. Others of you, this could be an earth sign who is pregnant that is spying on you. They're not spying on you. If it's an earth sign female that's pregnant, the earth sign female that's pregnant, that's a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, they're not spying on you. They're spying on the person that's not no longer intimate with them. This person is dating other people, most likely. It's a karmic cycle. I heard karmic loop. Mm -hmm. They got pets. Yeah, they have a dog in the house. This person's spying like they'll be back. They'll be back. This person is never coming back to them. That's what they don't see. So whoever the pregnant person is that's spying on somebody... They need to they need to hear this, whoever this is. They need to know this person's not coming back. This person's living a life. This person, you just gotta take care of this baby by yourself, honey. Mm-hmm. The earth sign is fine. Mm-hmm. This is the one who's pregnant. It's a pregnant earth sign that's spying. Trying to figure some things out. They being very studious. Trying to find out certain things. They're spying with the evil eye. Child, I cannot. They giving you the evil eye. Their first, middle, last initials could be M, E, W, T, X. They're spying with the evil eye because they see that someone moved on and is healing. And block them. This person not coming back. They swept down. This person come back to them because they pregnant or whatever the situation is. And it's um, unfortunately, if you're Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, Sun in Taurus, Sun in Virgo, Sun in Capricorn, and you are currently pregnant, this person is not coming back to you. They're off and about dating somebody else here. Two of Pentacles reverse. You penny pinching. Losing money, finances. Yeah, you dealing with a player. Someone that's gallivanting all around fucking town. Got you stuck in your head. Ooh wee. You could be someone that's pansexual or bisexual. Or your person is and ain't telling your ass. Okay, what do we need to see here? <laughs> they definitely blocked you. Somebody definitely stuck in their head about this shit. And they moving past the conflict. Okay. Someone moving past conflict here. They ain't dealing with it. Five of Swords reverse. Child. Mm -mm. And someone. So I feel like this is a younger earth sign. Between their 20s and 30s. Holy Spirit. I spirit guides. Someone blocked. Giving someone benefits. So someone could have been getting money, Six of Pentacles, benefits here. They could have been getting money. They're blocked from that now. They're not helping them out in no way, shape, or form. So, Lord have mercy. Yeah, they're protecting their money, their finances, and stuff like this. They're no longer waiting for these ships to come in. They, mm, 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 mm. Nine. Ooh, that's... Mm. Yeah, someone's guarding. They guard their money. They like fuck that. They they guard their money. They like they they blocked. So someone blocked their pregnant earth sign. They they block. There's block communication, block speech, block talking, uh, block throat chakra. Someone's not speaking up. Someone's guarding themselves here. Uh, they're looking over what they have, what they can give, what they can't give. They're looking over at their investments or what they invested into, and they're blocking that out. They realize they were losing money with this person here. This person could feel like this earth sign is a gold digger here. 
the three of wands to the king of uh, cups reverse here. Someone's in their feelings. Because they no longer can delay someone. So this earth sign could have been delaying someone from moving on from them. And it's not working. And now they're in their feelings upset and emotional about it. Look, Ten of Pentacles reversed. But what came out before that? Moon. Someone was doing moon magic on somebody's money to make them give them money. But some, instead of that occurring, someone had a huge financial loss here. Their stability, they, their stability and their security is rocked because of this. Okay? Karmic couple. No longer seeing eye to eye. There's a separation, a breakup. Virgo. This is a Virgo. Heavy Virgo. And then we have Gemini. And someone's moon is in the water sign. Look at that shit. Cancer. We got Virgo, sun, moon, and cancer. Boom. Then we have Gemini energy here. So it could have been a Virgo and a Gemini was dealing with each other. Gemini gallivanted right off to some to smoother pastures and left this person pregnant. And someone feels like it's unfair that someone goes away and work on their money and work on their health. They feel like it's unfair. Why are they not fighting for the connection? Why are they not fighting for the connection? Uh, why are they not having a new beginning? Why are they not being a family? This person feels stuck and broke. This Virgo feels stuck and broke. Any last messages here? Holy Spirit, King Spirit, guys, what do we need to know? Last messages. I heard last call. So this person could be calling the other person and no one's picking up. I feel like that Gemini, if it is Gemini, they change. They, they number. This karmic, this karmic is confused <laughs> and delusional. I feel like too. Someone's very stubborn here. Scorpio energy here. Mm -hmm. I feel like two. These two that were together, they're not together or they're soon to split. There's about to be a breakup if they haven't broken up already here. Um, someone's not following their, their inner guidance, that inner knowing, that intuition here. Someone's not even going to see this breakup coming if they haven't already broken up here. Someone was doing moon magic on somebody's money to get somebody money. It could have been this female Virgo doing witchcraft on the Gemini's money. But here's the thing, though. What they don't see coming if they're still together is that there's a broken foundation here that's going to lead to a breakup here. Why? Because there's an existential amount of financial loss going on. There's a lack of money now. Where there was money, there's no longer any money here. This is a karmic couple here. Now this karmic is confused as to what's going on. Why their foundation is rocked. Ten of Pentacles reverse here. This karmic was taking all this person's money. And now this person pulled back. They're not paying any bills in the house. They're not helping out this Virgo whatsoever. Or this earth sign whatsoever. And they took back their power. And they moved on. With that being said, this is your reading.